Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're revisiting the Monte Carlo poker chips. I reviewed these so oh, a couple years ago and there are some updates here. For starters, <laughs> real quick, you're looking at an ABS metal select chip with a label here, a little hologram around the label right here. Lovely chips named Monte Carlo. And for the rest of the world, when you think Monte Carlo, you think of super yachts, you think of a casino, you think of the south of France, warm weather, Mediterranean weather. It's just an interesting, you know, thing. you think of F1 racing. But here in the United States, when I mention Monte Carlo, people talk about, oh yeah, I owned a Monte Carlo when I was younger, and they're talking about a car, okay? Just an American car called the Monte Carlo. And it's the most different thing on the planet from Monte Carlo the place. Is it warm? Is it Mediterranean? Is it luxurious? No, 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 no. It's just a massive land yacht. And that's about as close as you could possibly get, you know, to associating it with Monte Carlo. Well, there are yachts in Monte Carlo, and this is a land yacht, just a massive boat. Land boat. So, Monte Carlo, I actually like the name. I like the design. It seems to fit with that ritzy look. But they're a metal slug ABS chip, so this is more like the Monte Carlo American vehicle than the luxurious Monte Carlo place. Now, what's the difference? On the left, we have a set of these purchased in 2019 from Apache Poker Chips. On the right, I have, and I just barely opened these today, a set of these purchased through Amazon. I think it was it's like a Brybelly distributor or whatever. Now, looking at these, the difference is not very subtle. Obviously, this is kind of more of a light purple instead of a pink, and there's no flashing around these. Look how smooth these edges are. Whereas these are, very, I can run my finger down here and I can tell you it's very rough. The flashing, the plastic that's sticking out of here from the molding process while it, when it was made, uh, it's just not, these don't feel good around the edges. So could there be anything else different? Well, sometimes when you grab things, you check for flatness and wow, this is really chunky here. Whereas the ones from Apache Poker Chips, you know, let's see if we can, you know, aren't flat, but they're, they're better. You know, this is kind of, this is actually really good for an ABS metal slugged chip. Should we compare it to a third party? So some desert heat right here, Claysmith. See, this is pretty average, just like the Apache Monte Carlos here. Okay, so you can see that. Pretty interesting, the differences there. So I used to sell these on my Amazon shop. They have very quickly been removed today. I just got, got rid of them because I don't want to uh, see those on my Amazon shop. So I would definitely look to Apache Poker Chips to purchase some of these and they're very reasonable. I don't like the weight, but I like the looks. I like the design. I like, you know, the materials are okay. The flatness is okay. Nothing to write home about, but very, very reasonable. For And considering the price you're paying, I would say it's more than reasonable. It's a good choice for the price. Now, we're gonna do a quick sound test here. And of course, we're gonna compare it to things that are completely different here. Let's see if we can grab some Monaco's here. And what else? Should we grab some ceramics? Let's see here. We want some of these. What are these? Dia de los Muertos ceramics. Okay, so this is the chips we're reviewing here. Very heavy ABS. And some Key West classic poker chips. And some Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. Also from Apache Poker Chips. All right, there you have it. Uh, let me know your thoughts about these. Uh, these are still something I like. I like these chips. So I just know now where to buy them. So definitely check that out. Visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. They support this channel and they have some wonderful tools to support you and your purchase decision. You wanna know well, how many chips do you need? How many ones, how many 25s, how many fives? They have you enter some really basic information in their poker chip calculator. How many players are there? What's your buying? And that helps guide you through the purchasing process. It's like, well, this is, you need at least this many chips. So definitely go to pokerchipforum.com, create an account. And I'm on there almost every single day. Stop in and say hi if you want. 
You can visit my ever-shrinking curated Amazon shop in the links in the description below. And subscribe if you like this content. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.